that they normally wouldn't do. Yeah, <coughs> try and do it in some sort of orderly fashion. Yeah, whether they want to... This jacket was given to me by someone early in the trip because I had another sleeping bag that was quite thin and it was 2 degrees C and it was rated for 7 and this jacket saved me for weeks. Oh good. Just this jacket and so I would fashion it, you would zip it like this. Uh -huh. This is something that I've dropped up. So I zip it like this. And I put my feet through here and use these as legs. So these are like pants. Oh. Because it, it's, that's where most of your heat is lost in your legs. Oh. Right? And so this kept me warm in those really cold days. Because I have a puffy jacket. Uh huh. Kind of puffy to keep me warm. But because my other sleeping bag, if you saw it, it was really thin. So oh. this one now is. Oh. It's rated for good. Oh yeah, oh, okay. like minus 15 or 20, so. Oh wow, yeah. so you slept nice and comfy. Yeah, so it's, look, because it's the only thing I have, the only comfort I have is to be dry and warm, warm. in here. This is the only thing I need, right? Yeah, and, and then you have that little pad. Yeah, the little pad I put below, and then I have that a little air mattress that's, I just, I just frilled up, and so, that's all I have, yeah. Is it comfortable enough? Yeah, it's... With the ground? Oh yeah, no, it's good enough. I mean, gravel isn't the best, but I slept just fine last night. I actually slept really well last night. Oh, good. I'm well, you had a full tummy. <laughs> yes, I am. That made me feel better. <laughs> That's part of the reason. Definitely. Well, uh, and I made oats this morning, so I figured that'll stick to your ribs a little bit for your trip. Yeah, yeah, today I gotta make my 35k or so. So you won't be to Watson for another day or so. Yeah, well. That's 100 miles, so that'll be three days, three and a half Three days. or four days, three yeah. Three or four days. Yeah. They got the signpost thing there. Where everybody puts their um, license plate. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like a forest thing. Oh yeah, I heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's like that. I actually talked to someone last year. So that's where I was going to head up last year. But they had no bus service or anything. So I, the logistics to try and get back there for this year would have been difficult. Yeah. Because when you walk, you have to be able to get back to where you left off. Yeah. And so. I ended up calling it quits in Fort St. John, but I talked to a lady in Fort St. in uh, in Watson Lake, and uh -huh. she was from my hometown of Barrie, Ontario, and she works up there now. Oh so, wow! So I'm, she says if I arrive there for me to go to the information office, the tourist information office, and tell uh -huh. me because she wants to meet me. So. Oh cool! So well, I, that'll be another place to stay. Yeah, no, and that's what I noticed that. Uh, this walk, as I told you before, it's not about adventure and getting in the forest and getting away. It seems to be more like connecting with people like you oh, guys, yeah. Mark and Janelle, <laughs> me in on their campsite, and well, you, mean you guys don't even know me, and you just, yeah, sure, come. I mean, oh. I could be some crazy guy, and well, I am a little crazy, but <laughs> crazier than you expected. And no, that's what it's, when you travel, you just kind of have a sense for it. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I saw the, we saw you walking, so we were talking about you, and then <laughs> I saw the cart, and I was, well, I think I saw you outside and asked about showers. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah, And it yeah. looked like you were just staying here. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. And then I saw the cart while I was filming, I'm like, oh, there's a cart. I go, the walker guy's here. And I go, well, God, figure out who he is. <laughs> And then when I saw you at your car, and I'm like, oh, I've already talked to him. <laughs> I go, he was looking for a place. And then uh, then I thought, oh, well, what's really helped us is the I Overlander. Yeah. So yeah, I, so. I uh, wanted to tell you about that because it tells you more kind of what you're looking for. Yeah, I think I actually feel like 
Someone has already told me about the eye overlander before. Uh-huh. And I just sort of like, eh. But I think this time I, I really will use it, and I think Alaska is going to help me yeah. big time. And I think It parents, helped us in Mexico a lot. Yeah, in Mexico everywhere. of all places. And it's been pretty good up here, too. I think... We found some really good boondocking spots. They're just That's quiet. what I want for my parents. And so yeah. I worry about my parents, and I, I know I shouldn't because it's fine. <laughs> And but you don't I think do they're because worried they're about older you? now, it, and I know they're worried about me too. I know my dad says he worries every day about yeah. me being out there. But as I'm getting older, I guess this is part of life: is that our parents become older and less how they were when we remember them as kids, right? As strong forty-something-year-olds. And I think you'll get that's, to the point where you're caring for them. I know, and that's how I like. I'm not caring for them, but I have helped them. Eventually, I, I eventually yeah. yeah, is that I oh, realized okay. um, my dad's 67 and my mom's. Oh, they're 60. young. No, I know, but my dad has had hip problems for many years and just got hip replacement. My mom is getting a double knee replacement. She had one knee done already, and now she's. Oh. Of, so they're starting to, you know, get into that. Everybody in my family has new knees set for me. Yeah. So don't, it'll be fine. So I always worry about them. <laughs> but I, yeah, and I think it's just this new relationship I have with my parents that I've realized through this block. So I've been away from home for a long time. How um, long? 10 years or more. No. No, like I talk to my parents and would visit them, you know, uh, twice a year or whatever, like, because I was always away. So when I, I started my undergraduate, I was actually on a path to become a professor. Oh, wow. And, and so I I traveled all over the place to research places to help out, like as an undergraduate and graduate student. And so I was never really at home because I was always either somewhere in really northwestern Ontario or at university and I couldn't just get away that my own doing and and so I never really I didn't go home for a long time yeah like consistently and so things changed in those 10 years like my sister went through a marriage and a divorce and then oh. her separation from my parents my sister has been absent in the last two years and she's she has a mental health issue oh, and yeah. uh and so <laughs> my parents are trying to help her with that, but now they've just given up this last month and it's been hard for them, but all this is happening, you can see, and I've been asking them, how is everything at home and everything's fine, but mm -hmm. it hasn't. And that's why I worry about them is yeah. because I feel like... Your parents will always tell you that. Mine still do that. Yeah, in their eighties. Like, yeah, and they and you ask them how are things, and they're like, uh -huh. oh, it's fine. And, and then you and then and you, you get, get home there. and find out something happened. You're and like, it's what? Not, yeah, and I realize, I don't know. The life circle. My grandparents did the same thing to my parents, and my parents are saying probably the same thing I'm saying. Is it like? Yeah. Why don't they say something? Why don't they like? What's wrong with them? But. There's nothing wrong with them. It's yeah. just the way it is. And so they enjoy watching you live, you know. Yeah. Like my father always tells me, I live vicariously through you now. <laughs> <laughs> my dad isn't super supportive of this walk. He uh -huh. is now more, maybe a little bit more. But my mom's been supportive because she knows I really wanted to do this. And it's just kind of how who I am and yeah. what I do with climbing and stuff. My dad doesn't like my climbing. He doesn't like hearing about me being on my tippy toes on the side of a mountain on a piece of ice. And yeah. He doesn't like that stuff. Uh, my mom is is more reserved. Yeah. Um, my dad, he's not like that. He yells and screams. You, and, you have to do your passions. Yeah, and so you can see where like, uh, yeah, it's like a basketball. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> quite bulky in my bag, but I don't want to get rid of that jacket because I just feel like... It's kind of sentimental at this point. Yeah, someone gave it to me and it kept me warm for so many weeks and... Yeah. Maybe over time it What inspired you to do the walk? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I wanted to do something big, like 
go far uh -huh. on foot solo unsupported and live out of a tent and in the woods and I guess oh, this is cool. it and uh, and write about it and yeah I don't know maybe maybe discover something about myself. Oh yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah it's great. And so yeah it <laughs> yeah, I've been living by the roads, so that's all I need. That's one thing I noticed here, that they ride trucks, they're really muddy, and they ride like a bat out of hell. Yeah, they just... I mean, we're off. driving along and they're just like, vroom. Yeah. I... You know, and the buffalo are huge, I mean... I saw the buffalo over here on the road and... Oh, yeah, the that's... wood buffalo, yeah. I was like, if we hit one of those, that's it. Yeah, I, I worked at a site in Zama, Alberta, which is the last remaining, I guess, natural population of wood buffalo uh -huh. in North America. Um, a guy hit a buffalo, and there's the remnants of the truck I took a picture of, and there's nothing. It's all burnt up, the truck. Oh, wow. And the buffalo died, obviously. Yeah. It was um, a mother huge. and her young that oh. he hit, and so both of them were dead there. And the truck was totaled. The guy got out alive, everything's fine, he was fine, but his truck went up in flames and there's nothing left but two tires in it. Wow. A frame. So Yeah, sure. Yeah, we, we kinda almost go below the speed limit sometimes, so Yeah, people out here <coughs> it seems on the road when I'm watching the road is that Yeah. Well, in Colorado, we're always watching for deer and bighorn, and sometimes we have bears. But oh, yeah, yeah. So we're always on a lookout, so we already have that sense of awareness here. Um, I think, back to why I did this walk. Uh huh. And I, you know, in the beginning, it was a childhood thing to go from my hometown of Barrie, Ontario, to Anchorage, Alaska, just two points no real significance between the ending or the beginning uh, but I but I think now that I'm older and doing it like I don't know, 20 years later 30 years later is that yeah it's um, it's like being a kid again and, I don't know, maybe midlife crisis thing early midlife crisis thing <laughs> and uh, yeah I've Realize a lot of things like taking, being able to enjoy the little things like this. I was just thinking, wow, picnic table so I can write and food and the hot springs yesterday, just relaxing and not worrying. You're and, actually seeing life. Yeah, yeah, and not bustling around in an office or worrying about some sort of analysis or... <laughs> Do you also notice when you see other people bustling around that it's like you're realizing what they're missing? Yeah, that my rushing around I missed everything and didn't get to witness a lot. <laughs> and yeah, so I've learned a lot about myself, about how I was very much an uptight, hustle bustle. Why does it seem so relaxed to me? <laughs> all about money. And, and now I realize, yeah, there's, you got to be more reserved with some things like yeah. about work and money and relationships and all that, that sometimes you got to be more patient and I think slowly learning. Not that I'm this monk now, but I, uh, <laughs> I have to be more patient in my life, I guess, with people and everything. Well, and you're going to continue meeting new people, so I'm excited for you. Yeah, I have. I can only imagine, and like the meeting with you guys was out of nowhere, and that's how it always happens. And same with that wallet and money I found. Yeah. Not wallets, or the, the, the jacket cash. and money yeah. in the pocket. And I just, I feel guilty about taking it, but how do I get that back to the person? There's yeah. nothing in there. It's a, so well, I, when you look for them, I it's mean... It's a gift. And I don't know, I just, yeah, it was a, it was a really bad day. That morning was, like I said, like I told you, people were buzzing by me and oh. it was, I was, why am I doing this? 
Why am I risking my life for this? <laughs> and then, yeah, that happened and good things happened. Meet people on the road. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a great day. And I feel like, yeah, I already have so much. Only 20 days and I have Oh, I thought so that was a ridden. Oh, wow. So, I can imagine I'll have to, I'll fill this and fill another one probably. You'll need a new book. Just buy another. Well, that's, I'm so excited for you and stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah, sometimes and I'd love it. to, you know, keep in touch and see your writing or Yeah, something. yeah, for sure. I know I'm going to be, ah, thank Oh, the oatmeal's done. The, yeah. the buzzer the went server. off. Oh, yeah. I hope you like apple. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I have a little Instapot. It's like a pressure cooker, and I mm. sit it for one minute, and then boom. And I thought oatmeal would be good for you today. Good yes. Meal. Good hearty. And then I put apple on there. Something healthy. Mark loves that, but then he puts brown sugar. <laughs> brown sugar is good for you. <laughs> so they uh -oh. got nutrients in them. Did you hear that, honey? Uh -huh. Micronutrients. He's on your side, and he said cookies are a good. That's right. <laughs> They're the healthy side of junk food. <laughs> yeah, I was laying there thinking you should have just went under here, but you were fine with the rain and stuff. Oh yeah, no, it was, it was a small amount of rain. Like, look at it today, wow. 